Welcome everyone to the 92nd Celebrity Sinistry Chart Reading where I will be looking into Amelia Woolley and Niall Horan. If you don't know me, hi I'm Adeline and it is so nice to meet you. On this channel I look at the dynamic between two celebrities using astrology. For those new and returning I take notes on a sinistry chart looking at the personal planet science aspects and if birth time is available house overlays. I share these notes and add my extra insights and interpretations along the way. So if that sounds good to you, subscribe and click the bell to join us weekly and let's get right into it. Starting off with the sun, we have Amelia's son in Aries and Niles' son in Virgo. It's an honest relationship and they need to make adjustments. Amelia's impulsiveness makes Niall anxious and Amelia appreciates Niles' considerate nature. So probably although he can be a bit anxious, he's considerate of potentially why she's impulsive maybe. Difference in personality is attractive to the other and Niall may get into the role of servant for Amelia. Amelia is impatient with Niles' self-analyzing and basic differences between them make the other uncomfortable. Already a start where, oh, the differences are attractive to the other, but it's also irritating. Great start. Amelia's son overlaid in Nasa's seventh house. It's love-hate and they feel united together. I'm not shocked. Thus far, there does seem to be maybe not a full-on love-hate, but like like-dislike sort of dynamic going on with what we have seen so far. They are deeply moved by each other and they get in each other's heads. They sense that they are complementary, so there is definitely an element of like their differences bringing them together and they feel like the differences work together. Both subconsciously try to prove they are separate from the relationship. I don't feel like they are super tied with each other. I mean, when you have Niall, I feel like any sort of relationship he's in is kind of, is eclipse the right word? It's overshadowed, I should say. Um, by the whole One Direction thing because I feel like he's more associated with that and that is what he's trying to actively separate himself from. Um, but potentially maybe they are really tied together in their own sort of like personal world. They feel the other is a big presence in their life and they need to find balance to make their relationship work which goes back to how we saw right in the beginning they need to make adjustments. They both may be driven to express themselves in extreme ways and the possibility of the personalities being lost in their relationship. Amelia's son tried Niles' moon. There is honest communication and Amelia relies on Niles' support so definitely she seems to appreciate that sort of support, the consideration he has. Um, and we did see he gets into that servant-like role for Amelia so potentially is very supportive of her. Niall relies on Amelia's wisdom and they both feel they can rely on each other. It's a naturally cooperative relationship which I think is very nice you know because we have seen they need to make those adjustments and make you know changes for the other um, so it seems like you know that is a thing in this relationship they are able to compromise and be cooperative. Niall tends to be dependent on Amelia so he seems to be a bit more sort of like I guess submissive if that's the right word you know being a bit more in the servant role being a bit more dependent. Amelia's son opposite Niles' Mercury. It's a great intellectual relationship and misunderstandings can occur. I mean not really surprisingly so like I know we have seen that they do seem to be able to cooperate with each other when it comes to things like their differences um, but you know it, they differences for a reason um, but they are differences from a reason and it is you know a good ground to have those misunderstandings on. Amelia finds Niall too analytical which we're seeing again and it is not good long term. E. I don't know how long they have been together. As far as I know they have it is a bit more of a long term serious relationship. I don't feel like they're I don't think they're married at all or like engaged. Um, but they do, it seems to be a bit more serious so hopefully we'll see a bit more when it comes to the longevity of it all. Niall is understanding of Amelia and Niall may feel misunderstood. He seems to be putting a bit more sort of like effort into the relationship. You know, considering that we are seeing, you know, Niall is the more understanding one. He is the one that's really pulling through for Amelia. 
Um, whereas Amelia, we haven't seen the sort of same reciprocated. Amelia may feel threatened and insignificant and they communicate well besides different views. I do see that. Niall sees Amelia as self-centered and Amelia sees Niall as too rational. They need to have a level of emotional detachment for marriage. Okay, so I will see a bit later with the moon section when it comes a bit more insight with their emotions. Niall's son conjunct Amelia's Mars. They respect each other and they energize each other. They both see the other as their type and they challenge and frustrate each other. Niall sees Amelia as too defensive and Amelia sees Niall as too judgmental. I don't like how these are kind of repeated um, because we did see like Niall seeing Amelia as a bit more selfish, uh, self-centered, which is kind of goes hand in hand with being defensive. And then, you know, Amelia seeing Nyla as too judgmental, the whole analytical thing. So now it's time for Moon. We have Amelia's Moon in Scorpio and Nyla's Moon in Leo. These are both fixed signs. They have opposite temperaments and Nyla feels Amelia's analyzing habits are unnecessary. Interesting. I mean, first of all, opposite temperaments, are we surprised? Um, but all, Niall seeing Amelia as analytical, that's interesting. Niall doesn't understand Amelia's tendency to distrust and both are strong-willed. Okay, um, hmm. It is weird, like, as I said earlier, like, thus far in the reading, we haven't seen a whole lot of, like, Amelia's presence and, like, what she does for their relationship. So potentially she is just a bit more on the detached side because she doesn't, you know, has a difficulty to trust maybe. They are both themselves here, which I feel like, you know, it seems like they are themselves. They do ex seem to accept those differences. Amelia's moon overlaid in Niles' third house. It's cooperative and friendly and Amelia admires Niles' lifestyle. I wonder what she does. I'm not really sure, but obviously Niall has the whole music thing going on. Amelia is supportive of Niles' priorities. I find it interesting, um, considering we there is a potential for Amelia to be a bit more detached to this relationship. And Niall, you know, his priorities, assuming that it would be his like career and stuff like that. Um, you know, the whole touring thing, you're traveling, you're away from home. Um, if Amelia is a bit more detached, you know, it's not really surprising she would be supportive of Niall, someone who's, you know, not going to be super present, who is physically detached from the relationship. They communicate well and Niall enjoys Amelia's company. Niall thinks of Amelia often and they are relaxed and productive with each other and they don't irritate each other, which if there is that physical distance between them, it makes sense. Amelia's moon square Nars's Venus. Previous relationships negatively impact this relationship. But I'm not sure on Amelia's end. For Niall, though, I know we covered Niall and Haley before on this channel. I'm not sure how serious that was and everything. That seemed to be before Amelia. I assume since Niall and Amelia are together now. Um, but also with Niall, um, the whole One Direction thing, I feel like that could definitely impact your current relationship since he was basically living with them for a really long time. There's a strong connection and Niall may struggle with his self-worth. Amelia may not be able to provide Niall with the emotional nourishment he wants. She seems to be a bit more on the detached side, like it just, confirmations just keep coming. Both need to resolve their internal issues for this to work. Both tend to take each other for granted and their values are in conflict. I mean, we have been seeing, you know, kept repeating, oh, they have some differences, they're cooperative, that all those sort of things in nature. Um, not great if their values are in conflict. I mean, so far we haven't seen any issues with their differences as such. Living beyond means will create strains and they both need to learn to compromise, which I feel like they have. Like they do seem to be quite cooperative with each other. They both like each other, but not their habits. Oh dear. They both may feel misunderstood, which I feel like we already have seen on both ends, which is interesting. Amelia sees Niall as narcissistic and they both will learn how to cooperate, um, which I feel like they have. Niall sees Amelia as needy. I would have thought this sort of like the needy narcissistic point would be of been the other way around. Um, but we'll see more. I mean, we have seen they both feel misunderstood. So it's maybe there are some mutual elements to those sort of more serious issues. 
Niall doesn't always understand Amelia's emotions. Okay, so this seems to be pretty bad emotionally, which going back to how they need to have that emotional detachment for marriage, I see it. They don't seem to be the best emotionally. Hope maybe we'll have a U-turn. Amelia's moon is square, Niles is Saturn. Amelia feels emotionally insecure and possibility of an awkward relationship. In a sense, yeah, I wouldn't be shocked. I mean, they do seem to have, like, I keep bringing it up, like, differences that they seem to be able to, like, compromise, cooperate on. But also, emotionally, they don't seem to be great. Literally, as I just said, might get better. No, Amelia feels emotionally insecure. Um, also, the whole, like, detachment on Amelia's part, it seems like that wouldn't help. Amelia feels judged by Niall, and Niall sees Amelia as needy and oversensitive. We're seeing that again. Um, Amelia being judged by Niall. Did we see that before? I know we've seen the analytical thing before. I don't know if we've seen the specifically judged thing though. Uh, but makes sense with the whole analytical thing on Niall's end. Amelia's moon conjunct to Niall's Pluto. They trigger each other's feelings and they work through past relationships together. So this seems to be definitely a thing in this relationship. We haven't seen either um, one particular more than the other, so it seems like it's a mutual thing. There's immense spiritual growth and it's not a superficial relationship. I mean, besides the whole like um, emotional awkwardness, I guess you could say, um, outside of that, I don't feel like it is, you know, they seem to be able to be quite cooperative with each other, it's not like they're only each other, we did see, like, Amelia being in denial, like, for the lifestyle, we haven't seen a whole lot of, like, oh, money, like, elements, and all oh, the living beyond their means, and all of that, I feel like with some other readings, we see, I feel like every aspect is, like, living beyond means, money, 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 um, Sorry, this doesn't seem to be the way. And there's not a whole lot of, like, all oh, they with each other because of, like, attraction and all of that and delusions and all of that. Um, so we haven't seen that. I really hope I haven't jinxed myself um, this reading. But, yeah, I really, I don't feel like it's superficial either. It's easy for them to talk about deeper and darker subjects. And Amelia may become needy of Nile. So she's quite needy of him. I wonder in what way, because we've only really seen that Niall sees her as being needy. Um, so I wonder where, because from what we have seen directly from Amelia, um, she seems to be a bit more detached. Um, so hopefully we'll see a bit more. There's a strong mental connection and Niall may see Amelia as too sensitive. They subconsciously need each other and they can make great wealth together. Intense passion keeps them together for a long time. Niles' moon trine Amelia's Venus. There is mutual appreciation and it is easy to compromise. Repeat it again. There's natural affection and they are supportive of each other during conflict. They appreciate art together and they're a social couple. Which in a way, yes, because they are in like the public eye. Niles' moon opposite Amelia's Jupiter. Emotions can get out of control. Uh, in what way? That maybe they're emotional problems. Maybe they're just not able to connect emotionally and then one day it blows up. I want to see more. There's unkept promises and they are attracted to each other because the other has what they need. I never like seeing this. I mean, so far we really haven't seen a whole lot um, besides that Amelia admires Niles' lifestyle. Um, but besides that, we haven't really seen a whole lot about this. Their beliefs are conflicted, and Niall may smother Amelia. I mean, he seems to be a bit more present in this relationship, um, a bit more attached to it. They both think the other's a bad influence. Niles' moon in China, Amelia Saturn. Building on past tradition is important, so it seems like the past is definitely a big element to this relationship. It's a stable relationship and potential for accumulating wealth. We have already seen a little bits and pieces of this so far. Niall sees Amelia as mature and Amelia is accountable with Niall. Amelia's desire for commitment is appealing to Niall and Amelia finds it difficult to be emotionally caring. The way I'm interpreting these last couple notes, it seems like not Amelia is sort of like the sort of home base for Niall when he is out traveling and touring and all of that. Um, because you know, she prioritizes domestic life, so it doesn't seem like she is one to like travel with Niall if he is prioritizing his career and touring. We haven't seen like traveling at all, I think, in this reading. 
Um, but, you know, she's also accountable with him. You know, she's committed to him, which is appealing to Nyla. And I imagine it would be probably, like, I mean, I feel like a lot of, you know, musicians would have this maybe issue if they are wanting a long-term relationship. That sort of desire for the other person is being committed to them despite the touring would, I imagine, be very appealing. Um, and her finding it difficult to be emotionally care. I mean, that's just repeated, but also there's not a whole lot of emotional depth. Um, there's a lot of separation, it seems like. They can achieve mutual long-term goals together. Now for the intermission, this video is brought to you by me, my Etsy store, Adeline the Astrologer. If you ever watch this and think, hey, I would like her to read my sinistry chart, well, I will. I do personalized sinistry chart readings on my Etsy store. I do both basic and detailed ones. Uh, the basic ones are a bit more simple to understand and really good for those just beginning out in astrology, getting the heads around it, or just as a fun gift idea. The detailed readings are very similar to what I do here, so it's a lot of it just with my insights and interpretation on the chart. So if you're interested in that and everything else, astrology and tarot, readings and gifts, uh, definitely check out my Etsy store for that. I'm always releasing new other things there as well. And you can even just favourite the store just to- Niles is moon opposite Amelia's Uranus. Nile feels insecure with Amelia's unpredictable behaviour. Okay, it took a bit of a turn. Amelia subconsciously sees Nile as a parent interesting this is kind of linking to the whole amelia being needy thing like we haven't seen anything besides this okay unstable marriage or long term it's interesting how we are seeing marriage elements long-term elements but it's not good it's interesting that's the only sort of like we have we are seeing longevity but bad longevity which is <laughs> there's an unusual meeting i'd be very curious to see how these guys got together Amelia is not interested in emotional closeness like Niall. We, I mean, I'm just a record player at this point. Amelia does not seem to be present here emotionally, like, at all. The relationship can begin and end suddenly. Niles is moon and trying Amelia's Pluto. There's an intense meeting and they both will need to let go of fake personas. I mean, despite the whole lack of emotions in this relationship, I feel like from a sort of more like spiritual and I guess like psychological perspective, these two are pretty good with each other. They are, they seem to be able to really work through those sort of deeper issues. They both bring truth and change in social and political areas together. We did see they were a social couple before, so that adds up. There is a strong bond and they're involved in organizations together. They can solve problems in the community and they can go through difficulties together. I'm not surprised. It seems like they are able to cooperate and all of that. They both can transform each other. So now it's time for Mercury. We have Amelia's Mercury in Aries and Niles' Mercury in Libra. These are sister polarity signs and they are also cardinal signs. They have common ground and Niles' interest in gossiping tires Amelia. Okay. Niall doesn't understand how Amelia takes things personally and they share positive and outgoing communication. Amelia's Mercury overlaid in Niles' seventh house. Amelia senses Niall will accept the way she thinks. I wonder if that is why maybe she feels judged by Niall or maybe she had a sort of certain impression of Niall and expectations of Niall in her head and then, you know, they were kind of, you know, not met. Um, and therefore she kind of feels a bit more judged, potentially, because we have seen he's a bit more critical and analytical. Amelia finds it easy to communicate with Niall and they have a strong communication and an intellectual bond, which I'm not surprised. Niall's Mercury trying Amelia's Venus. Niall is attracted to Amelia's intellect and they have warm communication. They respect each other's thoughts and ideas and Niall softens Amelia. They are sensitive to each other and they enjoy the same movies and music. They share mutual friends and Amelia helps Niall verbalize his feelings. That is interesting because I not something I would really expect. You know, the whole feeling thing, emotions. Amelia, I mean, we've seen repetitively. She does not seem to be there emotionally so it's interesting she seems to be able to bring it out in Niall. Maybe that's the whole thing. Maybe she doesn't purposely try to do it. She just kind of brings it out in Niall. Amelia's Mercury opposite Niles is Mars. They likely bicker a lot. It wouldn't be shocking though would it? Niall frequently interrupts which kind of you know goes into his whole like more critical analytical persona. 
Amelia feels her intelligence is threatened by Niall, which isn't shocking. I mean, again, it's another thing that ties into Niles as like critical analytical persona. Also, potentially where she feels judged by Niall, because we have seen that a couple times. Amelia's thoughts may rub Niall the wrong way, and Niall wants Amelia to be more docile. But she seems to be doing that. I wonder in what way, because, I mean, we did see that whole aspect pretty much where, you know, Amelia is very committed to Niall. She's, you know, prioritizes that domestic life. It's difficult to live together. I wonder if that is why Amelia is okay with that sort of distance. It seems like physical distance works for these two, if that makes sense. Niall tries to force his opinion on Amelia. Amelia's Mercury sextile Niles' Saturn. Niall helps Amelia focus and they solve problems together. Amelia feels she can learn a lot from Niall. I mean, I guess it's kind of connected to the whole parent, like, you know, the way she steals Niall as a parent subconsciously. They have dry conversations and they're a good business partnership. Amelia's Mercury square Niles' as Uranus. They challenge the way the other looks at things and they have intellectual conversations. Niall finds Amelia too traditional. So what does he want? I wonder in what way. he Maybe he just wants Amelia to be more docile, maybe in an intellectual sense, and that is why she feels like her intelligence is being threatened. Um, but outside of that, I feel like he kind of does have that very traditional woman that, you know, she, you know, someone that prioritizes domestic life is very committed to him. Amelia finds it difficult to depend on Niall. I mean, the way I'm interpreting, like, a lot of these notes seem to just be leaning towards, like, Amelia is kind of like the stay-at-home, home-based woman, and then Niall is, you know, out traveling and touring. I should say touring. He's not necessarily traveling. He's working, um, I hope, you know, but he's out working touring. Amelia's Mercury square Niles' Neptune. They think creatively around each other and Amelia misunderstands Niall. Again, with the whole misunderstanding thing. They both need to be clearer with communication and Amelia sees Niall as abstract. Niall feels misunderstood by Amelia and Niall sees Amelia as practical and logical. Amelia's trust for Niall fades. This is interesting. Going way back to how Amelia has the tendency to distrust, I think it was, or Niall couldn't understand her tendency to distrust. Interesting. Niall feels limited by Amelia. Hmm. Niall's Mercury opposite Amelia's Venus. Amelia feels Niall doesn't consider her feelings. Th what? The only way I could see this is maybe if she's sharing her opinions or thoughts on something because we did see that may rub Niall the wrong way. Um, and if he kind of is indicating that, obviously you wouldn't feel like he considers your feelings. It's an intellectually stimulating relationship and they have contrasting ideas. They both feel the other is self-centered. We have seen that. They cut each other off and Niall may see Amelia as lacking depth. I mean, if Amelia is not really showing a lot of like emotional intelligence, maybe like she doesn't seem to be there emotionally like at all. And you could kind of see that as like she's lacking depth. But at the same time, they do seem to have a quite deep, like more like psychological connection. Amelia's understanding of love doesn't match Niall. I, I can't say I'm shocked. Like I can't. They're drawn to each other's differences and conversations become a source of conflict. It's a relationship of banter. Maybe that is like where it comes in. They likely bicker a lot. Maybe they just banter. There's a difference in interests and they need to learn to listen to each other. Niall can help Amelia intellectually. It seems like he feels like he can, for sure. Niles' is Mercury trying Amelia's Uranus. Niall appreciates Amelia as an intellectual companion and they're perceptive and intuitive of each other. They have open communication and Niall becomes more inventive around Amelia. They work together on goals and they encourage each other's vision. So I don't feel like I've really commented this so far. We have seen like sprinkles throughout the reading of like how they work together on like goals and their goals will be beneficial and all of that and they are able to like you know create wealth together just acknowledging that you know 
I, I can't be shocked. Like, they're both very successful people, I imagine, particularly Niall. Niall's Mercury trying Amelia's Neptune. Niall inspires Amelia's imagination and they get each other. They share an appreciation for the arts and they are forgiving of each other, which is nice. Like, despite the more, I guess, troublesome notes we have seen, there are quite a lot of like softening factors as well. Niall's Mercury sextile Amelia's Pluto. They're interested in unique subjects together and they share a lot together. It's a therapist-patient relationship. I'm not shocked and I feel like both kind of fall into like both roles here. It doesn't seem like a one-sided thing at all. Niall uplifts Amelia and they get to the bottom of things quickly. Niall is fascinated by Amelia's depth. He seems to be a bit more confused about his feelings. Either he is confused or, you know, because I think we only saw like just once that Niall isn't impressed by Amelia's depth or whatever that was. Maybe that is just a one-off thing that is just overshadowed by everything else. It's discounted. They tell each other their deepest secrets and they both heal from past relationships together. We're seeing again. Amelia opens up Niall to new ways of thinking and resolve deeper matters together. And also, Amelia appreciates Niles' humour. So now it's time for Venus. We have Amelia's Venus in Aries and Niles' Venus in Leo. These are both fire signs. It's a spirited and fiery relationship and they both fall in love quickly. We haven't seen a whole lot when it comes to meeting. We saw like it was an intense meeting. And like they both, it, the relationship started and ended suddenly. I don't know if we've seen anything else. I mean, if like it was sudden and intense, both falling in love quickly, maybe it was a love at first sight thing. They are competitive and Niall takes this more seriously than Amelia. I can't disagree. Like Amelia has a level of detachment here. They admire each other and they both tend to be self-centered. They both see each other that way. So it kind of adds up. Niall doesn't get the attention he wants from Amelia and Niall finds Amelia both charming and intriguing. Amelia finds Niall both exciting and infuriating. I kind of see that because, I mean, there is a lot of, I guess, elements for both of them, I should say, where they probably would find the other quite irritating. Um, but they both seem to quite like each other. Amelia's Venus in Niall's seventh house. Amelia sees Niall as the perfect partner. I mean... He kind of is in a way, like I know we have seen a lot of more negative aspects here. It's not the perfect relationship, as none are really. Um, but from Amelia's perspective, I do see this, like she seems to fall onto the more detached side of things. And it seems like in this relationship, they don't seem to have a lot of physical, you know, togetherness, if that makes sense. They seem to be physically detached. It seems like, you know, the way I'm interpreting this anyway, it seems like, take a shot every time I say it seems like, um, Niall is out and about touring and Amelia seems like the whole, like, home base, she seems to be always there for Niall and everything. It seems like, you know, her detachment and Niall's physical detachment seems to work. Hopefully I made sense. They are complimentary and Niall feels comfortable around Amelia. Amelia satisfies Niles' needs and they both want to please each other. I assume this would be in terms of like, I guess Niall really wanting a committed partner. Amelia seems to be that, you know, despite, you know, everything else, she seems to be physically committed. You know, she seems to be there, not leaving. Longevity relies on Niles' attraction to Amelia. Oh no. Niles' Venus opposite Amelia's Jupiter. It's a promising relationship and they are generous with each other. They both have a problem with promising more than they can give and they share an optimistic life together. So now it's time for Mars. We have Amelia's Mars in Virgo and Niles' Mars in Libra. Amelia tends to be critical of Niall. I mean, with the amount, it seems like Niall is critical of her. I don't, I'm not, I'm overlooking this. Who cares? Niall defends Amelia and they compromise with each other. Amelia gets nervous around Niall. Amelia's Mars overlaid in Niles' 12th house. Niall feels uncomfortable around Amelia and Amelia brings out a hidden side of Niall. Okay. I mean, we did see that, I think it was a no pretty early on in the reading that Amelia or Niall feels quite comfortable expressing his feelings with Amelia or like Amelia helps him express his feelings, something like that. 
And I feel like that could potentially be connected to this. Like, if Niall softens up around Amelia and he, Amelia brings out that sort of more softer side of Niall, that's their relationship formed from having to protect one another. This is interesting because we just saw Niall defend Amelia. Um, but also we saw that the relationship began intensely and suddenly. I wonder if anything, like, happened i don't know like it's a bit weird considering all of those notes together amelia feels drained by niall and i mean this would just have to be with his old critical nature <laughs> niall wants to protect amelia niall sees the more fragile part of amelia see this is a bit weird how niall is like protecting and defending her and the relationship is formed in this way what happened Amelia's Mars trying Niles' Uranus. Amelia feels free around Nile, and it's an unusual meeting. It seems unusual. Like, I don't know, like, what, because what could happen in that situation? Like, all I'm imagining is, like, under Nile coming out, like, Amelia is, I don't know, getting robbed or something, and Nile, oh, night in shining armor, coming in. If that is how they met, that's crazy <laughs> and unusual. It may be an open relationship. This is interesting. Considering the physical distance and all of that, but it's also like Amelia seems to be quite committed and dedicated to Niall, so maybe that is just a whole part of the deal. They respect each other's independence, and Amelia is not a fan of Niall's lack of boundaries. I wonder in what way? Maybe it is that more open relationship aspect, but also I kind of don't see it because Niall, I guess. You could see like him touring around and like breaking the boundaries of a sort of like, because typically a more traditional relationship you kind of are in the physical presence of each other. Um, so maybe that is a way she's not a fan of the boundaries, but it seems like she's okay with the touring stuff. Amelia's Mars trying Niles' Neptune. There's a lack of boundaries and Amelia is more dominant. I, I mean, in a sense, she's more emotionally detached. I mean, at the same time, she has a, quite a lot of Aries aspects. I don't know if it was all of them so far, but I think another thing I wasn't going to initially mention until this came along, um, we did see like what her sun, her Mercury and her Venus in Aries. Aries is typically more dominant, they're more independent. That is sort of like the whole stereotypical thing, I guess you could say, the highlights of an Aries. Um, so it's not surprising there. Niall strengthens Amelia's ego and Amelia feels confident around Niall. Amelia's Mars sextile Niles is Pluto. Amelia's daring nature is attractive to Niall. I mean, I think it would be attractive. Would Niall actually like it? Because this goes right back to the beginning where we saw that, you know, Niall or Amelia can tend to make Niall anxious. Um, so it seems like he is attracted to it, but like sort of also really not genuinely into it and supportive of it if that makes sense like oh it's cool but you know do I want to know competitive which I feel like we've seen already a few times in this reading it's potential to be destructive and dangerous e and there are power issues I wouldn't I don't really see power issues maybe in like terms of status and money I assume I would have more but throughout this relationship there seems to be quite a clear like Amelia is sort of the more detached dominant one and then Niall is sort of the more submissive attached one. They have dramatic fights. So that was the final aspect bringing us to the end of the reading. If you are still watching, please share your thoughts below. I'll be very curious to see what you guys have to say about this one. Um, and let me know if you interpret it any differently because I mean, hopefully the way I interpreted it is good. But, you know, I would be very curious to see if you guys interpret this any differently. It was definitely a very interesting relationship to dive into. If you have made it this far, please consider subscribing for more. I post these readings weekly. And besides that, give this video a like and I will see you guys next time. Bye!